Good morning everyone and welcome to a day in the life of ACE. This is actually my second time trying to film this video because it seems like my floor gets so hectic after a certain time that it's just impossible to catch anything. So we are going to try this again and I'm going to try to get as much footage as, footage as possible and kind of just like show you guys around. So usually what happens on a typical day to day, we get in, we take vitals, um, we do our rounds, we chart <coughs> how people get their breakfast order, things like that, do your AccuChecks. Um, and this all leads us up to around, you know, 12 o'clock, one o'clock in the afternoon. <clears throat> and then we'll go ahead and do our rounds again. So the PSAs are responsible for odd hour rounds. The nurses do the even hour rounds. So every hour you're in that room checking on that patient. And um, around two o'clock, you don't have to do rounds, but you do have to do your um, eyes and nose. So your inputs and your outputs. So you're checking the drainage on JP drains, you know, chest tubes. I'm on a cardiovascular step down unit. Um, so a lot of people that come for thoracic surgeries, heart surgeries, um, pneumothoraxes, all of those patients end up on <clears throat> our floor because all that work is being done in that same area. Everyone's on telly. Um, that's pretty much it. So at two o'clock, like I said, we'll do the I's and O's. Three o'clock is usually when I take my lunch, right after I get vitals. So we get vitals at seven, 11, and three. So when my last set of vitals are done for the day, that's when I'll take lunch, just so they're not late. And I don't usually like input them into the system just yet. I kind of, um, you know, do them first, get them off the way, go to lunch, and when I come back, I put everything in the system. But the nurses still have access to it. It's just not saved and finalized under my name. Um, and that will lead us up to about four o'clock. That's when the nurses will go in, do their rounds. And that's when I said I'll go back in and start doing my charting on those three o'clock vitals. And then five o'clock, we collect all the trash and the linens. Six o'clock, we get ready to give report to the next shift that comes in around 6.30, 7 o'clock. So that's pretty much how today should go. God willing, <laughs> but you know when you work in the hospital, anything can happen. I could walk in today and I could be floated to a floor I've never been to. So we'll just have to see. Um, I will keep you guys updated as much as I can on what I'm doing. I'll try to show you guys around, uh, just little things like that. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Um, I am headed to work and I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, so right now I am in the supply room. <sighs> okay, this is why I never get any footage right here. So, um, it's been a little hectic. I've gotten vitals. Six of my eight patients all are AccuChecks, of course. So I'm running around like a mad woman at eight o'clock, ordering everyone's breakfast, getting everyone's blood sugar. Um, I have a few patients with dementia one who likes to pull out his lines um but he does have one of those e-companions in there but apparently he was asleep all night like the e-companion was and he ripped out a ton of shit there's blood everywhere and i just walk in the room like okay you know we're just gonna get through today and not come back tomorrow no i'm just kidding but um yeah it's been a little wild so i have not done any charting it is 8 38 but I do have all of my vitals, I have all of my blood sugars, and everything like that done. So I'm gonna do my rounds at nine o'clock, get my charting done, maybe run to the coffee shop um, because I'm starving and I really need some coffee. We are watching my mom's dog, so we did not have any sleep last night, Alex and I. 
but that is pretty much it for now i will check back in with you guys um i'm trying to find some pure wicks but we don't have any apparently so i may have to call down to supply to get those because three of my eight patients are all on pure wicks and we don't have any Oh, also, we are getting a patient discharged. So I usually like to get a little bin ready for the next patient because it won't be long until that room is filled. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how I get my bins prepared. So this is our little AccuCheck machine. Obviously your hospital will teach you the way that it's supposed to be done, but the way that we do it in our hospital, we go in, we scan our badge, um, and then we'll scan the patient's band, verify the name and date of birth. We'll scan those strip lots. We'll take a Lancet, a strip of alcohol, and one of the gauze, and we'll poke the patient. I'm sorry, we'll actually clean the finger first, poke the patient, wipe away the first drop of blood, and then you'll take the second drop of blood and that'll give you your blood sugar. So right now I'm just warming up some of the chlorhexidine wipes. Um, these you use to wipe down your patients that have pick lines, things like that. Um, I'm taking some out, but I'm also replacing the ones that I'm taking out because people often forget to do that. So here I'm just getting some stuff that I had to send down to supply for. Um, like I said, we didn't have any Purex on the floor and all my female patients basically had Purex in today. Um, and then I also didn't have any cleaning wipes to clean people up after bowel movements or anything like that. So I had to send down for some of those too. and I just look like I've been in a literal fight. Um, so far, everything is super busy. I've had two patients discharged. I am going to get those little bin things that I showed you guys ready. Their rooms haven't been cleaned, so they're not necessarily ready for a new admit. Um, if I can show you guys how that process works, I will. But I'm gonna put those bins in those rooms when they're clean, get the new patients, their name information all set up in the system. Um, unfortunately, the two patients that discharged were the only two patients that didn't have AccuCheck. So the patients need vitals, AccuCheck, so everything at the same time. And that's pretty much it for now. I will check back in and let you guys know what else is going on. Okay, I really hope you guys can hear me. So 
Um, one of my rooms just got filled. I just checked the board and I am going to start getting that room ready. It's already cleaned and I'm going to bring that little bucket in that I showed you guys earlier and I'm going to just try to give myself a little bit of a report on him, read through his notes before he even gets here so I know a little bit about what's going on before they hit the floor. So this is actually the end of my shift and I decided to be nice and run down and get blood for the oncoming shift um, just to help them out a little bit because it was a really crazy day. Good morning you guys. So today is actually a week later <laughs> on Saturday but I wanted to like try to keep this video going just to see if I can give you guys as much information as I could. Um, my hair looks different. I got I braided my hair myself. So that's why it's up in a ponytail. But um, I am heading to work right now. And <clears throat> I work today and tomorrow. Um, if you guys are coming from my nursing school side of things, I also have a pediatric ex exam on Monday. So I need to try to fit in some studying for that today. And that is about it. So I'm going to show you guys everything that I can. Um, try to keep things as simple as possible still within HIPAA, blah, 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 blah. You guys get the drill. So I will see you guys in a little bit.
elevator. I am going down to get some Starbucks for me and the girl that I'm working with. It's been slow but eventful and I will keep you guys updated and posted on everything that's going on. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time, to my place I feel my heart erased So catch me if I fall Alright you guys, so the lighting in here is horrible, so just bear with me. Um, I just discharged that patient. Right now it is 2 o'clock. It is time to do our I's and O's. That's where we do all of the input, output. I am going to go drain a few JP drains and do the output on a few chest tubes and some pure wicks. So that's what I'm going to go do now. Then I'll chart it and head to lunch. At this point, I don't even know what I was looking for. I just always end up lost in this storage room for some reason. Y'all, I am so dramatic. I can't even tell you what this lady was talking to me about, but whatever it was must have been hilarious. Alright you guys, so that is the end of this week's video. Let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, if you guys want to see anything in my upcoming videos. Um, but until then, I'll catch up with you guys in the next video.